the parsha lech lecha, it means go to you. You could say, how can I not go to me? I can't go away from me. I can't leave myself behind. I'm always with me. No matter, sometimes I think it would be great to have a vacation to be someone else for two weeks, but I'm always me. So it goes on, and it says, and where do you go to find yourself? It says, ala aretz asher areka, which means to the land where I'll, where I'll show you you. There's a dot in the final chaf. It makes it reflective. It's not the land I'll show you. It's the land that I'll show you you. What does that mean? How could you not be with yourself? How could you not know yourself? So when you ask yourself, who am I? The answer will have to do with oftentimes what I strive for, what I want the most. For most of us, what we want the most is meaning and connection. The skula, the unique aspect of Eretz Yisrael, is that it could provide you with meaning and connection. How? By Hashem, by God, being more revealed here than anywhere else. I want to give you a current example, because you could think, oh, that was Avraham, and that was the Parsha, and that was thousands of years ago, and it's true, but, you know, pass me the pizza. They just reported that there were 450 attempted terrorist acts in this half year. This half year, six months, 450 that were prevented by the security forces. So you could say, oh, what marvelous security forces. But you know what? They're just like you and me. They're people. This is something much bigger than that. It's Hashem's intervening because He wants us here now. He wants it to be possible for us to be here now. So the return to Eretz Yisrael has to do with self-discovery and it has to do with national discovery. This is where we become ourselves as a nation. This is where the language we speak has its roots in ancient Hebrew, Lashon Kodesh. This is where when you go on public transportation, there's often a little sign in the window, Shabbat Shalom on Friday, or Chag Sameach on Yom Tov. This is a land of national self-discovery. This is a land where even people who don't observe the Torah know that there's a Torah, know that we have a unique fate. You could often see what something is when you look at the end. The end of the story in this parsha is when God commanded Avraham with the mitzvah brit milah, circumcision. And he says, as a, as a result of that, I'll be your God and I'll give you the land. I'll be your God. Well, isn't, isn't God everyone's God? No, it means I'll have a personal relationship to you, a relationship that you could experience and observe in a level that other people can't. The mitzvah of circumcision seems very strange. It's a strange mitzvah, but its message is so you could experience God even in areas of life that people don't associate with spirituality. When we have a land and you experience God, when you plow, when you plant, you sow, you take in the crops, every seven years there's a mitzvah called Shemitah, where you don't work the land, but you survive because you're, of your reliance on God. This is what a land of self-discovery is about. You may say, I don't know, are people doing this? There's an organization called Bring Them Home. Contact them and you'll find out how you could do it. And you could be an Avraham.